Shalom, I'm Kendra Rosham Manut at Machane Ramah de Rome, and this video is for the Sevet Omanut who want to learn how to uh, lead these projects. This is designed for um, Solalim. It's a it's a Hamsa, um, and it's done in a style um, which is a faux enamel style. If you're familiar with enamel, or the French term is cloisonné. If I'm pronouncing that correctly, I'm not sure. Um, so we have a pomegranate you can do in the same style, different kinds of hamsa shapes, and the theme for Solalim is the Jewish home. So with any lesson that you're going to start in Omanut, it's best um, to give it some background. So um, you will be provided in your curriculum with this resource. So it's a picture of different hamsas, like a hamsa collection in somebody's home around the door and some text for you to learn ahead of time. You don't wanna be reading this to the kids, it's not school. But just to give a little background that um, Hamsa um, is the Arabic word for five, and um, it's a, um, a Middle Eastern tradition to have, um, it's, it's a protective amulet. Um, it's sort of like, um, you know, for good luck, um, people have it by their door, so it's like, you know, the protective um, hand um, leading you to and from um, as you go. So you want to start with this, um, pass this around. You um, want to connect it to their own experience in their own home or other Jewish homes that they visited. Ask them who, um, who has a collection of this in their home, if they've ever seen that in any home. So after that, I have a, um, it's a Google Doc of all different handouts of different hamsas. So uh, in the Omenu building, you may have different kinds of stencils. If you don't have any stencils and you just have this, you're just gonna start with cut it, choose, have them choose one and cut it out. You wanna remind them that some of these details, which are just, you know, clip off art I grabbed online are too small to be filled in. So have them just focus on the outside shape. The best um, material I have so far found is matte board. Matte board is what's used um, for, for framing something in a frame. Sometimes it's too colored. Just uh, be mindful that you need some kind of silver Sharpie or a white colored pencil to label, label on the back if you're using that. Um, remind students um, that they're not gonna just cut from the middle. You want to uh, you know, conserve this matte board. Anything thinner, like a cereal box, I'm worried that it would warp when you put the glue on. And anything thicker might be a little tough to cut. The alternative is if we have ordered ahead of time some store-bought wooden Hamsa forms. So even though it may seem obvious, um, Solene campers are going to need a reminder about how to trace. So I like to introduce it like have your helper hand, that's the hand that you don't write with, in the middle, holding it so it's not gonna slide on you. Once it starts sliding, it will be difficult for you to line it back. So sort of pretend that that's like a thumbtick and that's not going anywhere. And then another tip is to have them um, have their, their pencil straight up and down, like a ballerina on the tippy toes, not lying down flat. If they put it lying down flat, they tend to scoop underneath the paper. So have it totally vertical on the tippy toes, and then you would want to demonstrate this first. Show how you're, they're going to move their hand around. Okay, it's also possible to um, ha have a helper. They could work in pairs if this is difficult. And then you may need to give some help depending on the um, dexterity of um, the campers. All right, so now we're finished with our template. And now you need to cut it out. So you do need some strong, firm scissors. Um, and what I like to do is just cut out the, the shape around it because to cut around this bend would be really hard if you've got this in the way. So what I do is I do an initial cut and then I go around and demonstrate to that to them. For the sake of this video, I won't have you watch all that. I'm going to skip to this one that I prepared already, but I do want to show you how to tell them to do the hole punch. So review with them that the hole punch needs to go all the way in so that you see where it's gonna go. You don't wanna have it be on the edge. And get a scrap paper 
and show them what if you don't put it all the way in? Then when you do the hole punching, it's it's going to not work. Okay, have them practice going deep inside. That may be a one second experience for some. Some kids may need a little bit more practice on that. Um, okay, now what you need to figure out is do you want it up or down? There's no right or wrong way from my research. Um, if this middle finger is very narrow though, I would recommend so that you have enough space around doing it upside down. I'll do this one upside down because the other ones I have already are right side up. So once you remind them, okay, measure twice, cut once, I'm gonna do that. This can take a lot of hand strength. You might need to help them. Okay, so don't do more demonstration than that at first. Let them get to this point and then you're gonna demonstrate. So after that, you may wanna bring them back some sample images and it doesn't have to be from the one that they traced. Let, let, let them look through all these different kinds of sample images. And what they're going to do is sketch with pencil because I want them to erase and revise it. We don't want rushing during this phase. How are they going to make these kind of walled off sections? So it is important to show them the final project so that they understand as they design, they need to be creating these walled off areas that the glitter glue is going to be filled in. And I'll talk to you about how we're gonna make those walled off areas in a minute, but we wanna design it so that we have the eye and then some indication of the fingers. And then you could sketch this out for them and then sort of verbally go through in your own working how you would talk to yourself about revising it. So I've just, just done this quick sketch and then I might show them, okay, so now I'm gonna look and I'm gonna say, well, this looks like it's a big enough shape that I could divide it further, but I wanna stop there. Now, because I have this zigzag going on, maybe I could do a zigzag around the bottom. I could show them a little bit of self-talk like that, okay? And then if somebody rushes through that, encourage them to go back, look at some samples, see, oh, look, what if you took some kind of curving shapes? Could you copy that? Can you incorporate that into your design? They may say yes, they may say no, but it's a way to just get them thinking deeper about this. And in the end, it will be more interesting for their final, final product. Okay, so the next thing is to make these walls. So this method that I have created uses a product called WikiStick. WikiStick is a toy slash art material. And this is a brand name. Um, most likely we have a non-brand name, similar product in the Omanute building. Um, it is basically like a piece of yarn with wax on it. If you're using it as a toy or even an art material, it's totally reusable. Uh, it doesn't dry out. Um, if you've used it a lot, it will probably get dusty if it drops on the floor. Um, if you're not using fresh wiki sticks, you need to plan to paint it in the end. So the final product of painting all of the wiki stiff sticks with this silver paint, that's the design choice. But it may also be if the wiki sticks are gross and nasty, you want to cover it up anyway. Hopefully we're able to purchase new. That won't be a problem. If you're purchasing new, it comes in different colors. So you could take advantage of using the colors. And then in terms of logistics, if there's not going to be time, because maybe the group came late one day or it was a canceled or a kid was sick, you don't wanna to have to have them go through the extra step of painting it all gold. It doesn't come in gold and silver. I had to paint those, which was an extra step and some drying time. So think about that before you begin. So the wiki sticks are easily cut with scissors and it doesn't need any glue. Because it's covered in wax, it's going to stick directly to the mat board. You do need to press hard though, however. And what I have found is that some kids don't press hard. And if what they do is not cut it here, but continue to go around 
And if this part should lift off, the whole thing lifts off and then it's very frustrating for them. So as you demonstrate, and remember you're not demonstrating the whole project start to finish. You're just doing it in segments, chunk it for them. So cut it there, then take a new piece and then fill it in, pressing as you go. You do want to make a wall around the edge. And I'm not saying that they have to cut at every turn. If they're successful in pressing it on and it's staying, then I don't see any reason why you would need to cut it. That's just only if someone is not able to press it on well enough. Okay, and you can do things like tell them just to press the whole thing down and secure it. Okay, so for this video, I'm not gonna continue the whole thing. I just wanna point out that it, it is a good idea to plan in the design to make a wall around the hole to protect the hole from being closed. I didn't do that originally in these samples that I made, but I think that that's gonna be important for them. So it's less messy when they go to fill in the glitter go. All right, so for the purpose of, of this video, I'm just gonna fast forward and show you one that I've already finished. So you see this blue one. Um, say that you had a color that you liked. It didn't need to be painted because it wasn't messy. This is actually messy, but we'll pretend it isn't for this video because um, I didn't have any new wiki sticks when I am filming this. Uh, hopefully we will special order them for this project and that won't be an issue. So now we're ready to fill in the glitter glow. So before you start, I want you to talk to the campers about making a plan for the colors. Show them how you repeated and you use symmetry to make it visually appealing. We don't want it just to be like slapdash, do whatever. If it helps them to make a note, show them the glitter glue options that you have and they can choose them like a color scheme. If they wanted to write one section would be blue. This is gonna be green. This is gonna be gold. They can do that, but that's not a necessary step. As I fill this in, what I've realized is that this is a pretty big space. And what I could do is I would need to go and get blue, fill it in some more. So that's a time to do some revision. Okay. So what you're gonna do with the glitter glue is fill in the entire section right up to the top. Now, when it dries, it will sink down. So it's very puffy right now, but it's gonna shrink and flatten as it dries. But because these wiki sticks are making walls, it's not going to spread. So the colors will remain separate. It sort of looks like a fake stained glass. I don't know that too many of the campers will be familiar with faux enamel or faux cloisonne as a term, but they might know stained glass where there's this ridges in between and it separates the different sections. So here, I just decided to do the gold because I thought about what would be a good contrast? I think gold has more contrast with the blue instead of the green. I'm gonna save the green for the middle so that this flower shape around this eye really stands out. And for the eye here, I had just um, used a little spiral of the wiki sticks. You could do a bigger spiral, however you want. Okay, so you're gonna continue filling this in and then it needs to dry. If the way it has worked out with the sessions is that this doesn't take very long, then there's a lot left of the class. You could do one of the finished early options, um, free draw, lanyard, friendship bracelets. I know that this green container was, was stuck. So if you have a dispenser that just isn't working like this, here's my suggestion. Take a scrap of cardboard or something. What I have handy right now is this index card. 
So basically take a piece of a piece of a, a box and construction paper and make a little puddle. And just scoop it in. This may be more messy and difficult, but it's a good workaround if, if they're not able to use the bottle because the dispenser is clogged. Keep in mind, a great way to keep the dispensers not clogged is to make sure, especially at the end of the class, you're closing it up. The white peg has gone all the way up clockwise, closes it, counterclockwise, opens it. <clears throat> So you're filling this in. And if you have gone over the edges before it is dry, all you do is you just wipe it off with a finger or some paper towel. I want to uncover this eye in the middle that I had. Okay, so you just wipe it off so that it's not on the, the ridges. If using the dispenser, it hasn't gone to the edge, you could use a like um, this is a paper clip that I unraveled. You could use a pencil tip that then you wash, of course, so it doesn't stay gluey. Anything to just spread it around like that. Okay, so I'm not gonna keep going for the purpose of the video. I just wanna mention that in this example, I did not color the wiki stick. So I kept it being blue, which is a great option. If you need to stall and make the project take longer, you could have them paint it. It is possible to use acrylic paint on this, but it has to dry. You can use the hair dryer to let it dry and then it takes multiple coats. Spray paint is a better option for this. You need to do this outside. You need to have a placemat, even if you're just doing it on the gravel, we don't wanna have the gravel have place um, spray paint on it. This needs to be done by a staff member. Pay attention to how windy it is, the direction of the wind, and stand away from the direction of the wind. Um, before I end, I just wanted to show you another option instead of glitter glue, or you could use it in conjunction. And again, this is a way to go further. If you have a student who's really talented, really intrigued by this, and they need some other opportunities to engage them, or you just need to um, extend it for time, what you can do is you can make your own creation to fill it in. This, I'm showing it here because it has a metallic effect. So get some metallic acrylic paint. Any acrylic paint would work, but taking advantage of the metallic here, I think makes a nice effect. This is just some white glue in this dispenser I have. So fill equal parts glue and the paint, and you're gonna mix it. Keep in mind, it's best to do this on a disposable container, not on something that you'd have want to wash the glue out. And then working again on a placemat, fill it in. You want to remind them to let it stop dripping. And depending on the, um, the dexterity of the campers, some will be able to do this technique where they're transferring it um, with a popsicle stick better than others. It may just frustrate some, and then in that case, try to get the glue dispenser working. What you can do is you can unscrew the glue dispenser, run up, soak it in some um, hot water. Um, there may be a, a tea kettle in the office uh, that you can use to warm up some water. Um, or just soak it overnight in room temperature water with some soap, some dish soap, and that may help to unclog it. So this is sort of a cool effect. Um, the glue, I'm mixing it with a glue um, just so it's sort of thick and it can spread, but it's not going to stay as high as you would you would think. It's going to flatten out. Uh, one one technique to try, I've seen it work um, better sometimes than others, is to also, if you wanted a way to make this more complicated, get some liquid watercolor. Uh, this is not the original container, I have just transferred it. And then just do a few drops. 
it would have that came out really fast. I meant to do a less of a drops, but then take a paper clip and then create a swirl effect, a marbling effect. As this dries, this blue liquid watercolor paint will disperse among the glue, but the glue and the acrylic paint is just a way to make a thicker body to help it spread less fast. So it's not gonna stay exactly the way you left it, which is important to explain to the campers because sometimes they don't know that and they'll get frustrated. When they see it the next day, they'll say, well, this is how I left it. You just wanna let them know in advance that it's gonna change as it dries just to set their expectations. All right, one other technique that you could do um, is using some puff paint. The puff paint is not gonna shrink. So in this pomegranate, I use that to my advantage in the seeds section. You could do that puff paint. And this section here is I was experimenting with puff paint. I, sw I put some white in there and I swirled it with some, some pink. Um, it didn't work amazingly well. It did leave this cool shine on it, but I don't know that it worked so much better than just the glitter glue. So I'm just giving these to you as options for extension. The simplest thing is to stick with a glitter glue. Don't even mention the other stuff. Um, it would just be um, something for you to know about. So I hope this video was helpful. After this dries, uh, you need to add a string and some beads. Be mindful, make sure that the beads are gonna fit on a doubled length of the string or it'll be really frustrating. The string is mandatory. We don't wanna send it home with no way to easily be hung up, but the beads are not mandatory. That's just a cool option. Do as many beads as you like. Uh, and I neglected to mention that you should start with a name and the bunk on the back before you even begin. This is how we should have began, the name and the bunk. So do check, do check that that's on there. Full name and the bunk. Great. Make sure that you're sending the take home description with it. It's like a little printout and it says a description of the project. You're gonna, um, you don't need to attach it, just sort of include it here and then wrap it as part of their, their package um, to send it home and then rewrite their name on the outside of the wrapping just to give it some protection. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. Good luck.